All right, Ken, thanks so very much. Well, as for why the decision was made not to air the hearing, Committee on Rules Chairman Senator Roy Respicio says Senator Rodriguez's hearing was not televised because he did not have subject matter jurisdiction. During the hearing, legislative staffer John Paul Manuel testified in his personal capacity that the hearing was illegal. Here's what happened when Rodriguez tried to hold that hearing. Um, under open government law, it says that uh, public notice of a public hearing um, shall be given five working days. And that um, was followed. That was unfortunately not followed. That, according to that was followed. That was followed. Mr. Manuel, if you have any other testimony or procedure, I'm going to ask you to send it to me in writing, and we'll entertain it at that time. Thank you very much. Thank legal you very much for you This is an illegal hearing. Mr. Manuel, legal I'm, not, I'm not going to say this again, not that I'm going to stop the you laws. from doing that testimony, and you can send me a written testimony. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll have... Um, um, for, for those of you who are here, and this is another to, example of an illegal Mr. hearing Mr. that is put, uh, putting raises and retros outside of the rules of public hearing. Thank you. Um, Mr. Vice Chairman, anything you, any questions? Senator Respicio tells KUM, had it been televised, nothing would prevent any other senator from doing the same thing. We should add Underwood is holding a public meeting on her Bill 243 Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. in the public hearing room. That, too, however, will not be televised. And uh, this isn't the first time Senator St. Nicholas has been accused of holding bills in his committee. Senator Tommy Morrison last month withdrew his Bill 280 after he accused St. Nicholas of, quote, dragging his feet on bills he believes don't comply with the St. Nicholas way or the highway style of leadership, end quote. He further said St. Nicholas demonstrated the characteristics of a dictator in holding hostage not only bills but confirmations as well.